These officer cadets are the fifth batch of intakes at the PNGDF's Joint Forces Academy. They are the junior class made up of 44 cadets from both the Defence Force and the Correctional Service. This week they completed their first assessment in exercise first run at Dumpu in the Medang province. Uh, this class is in their crawl phase and also uh, we are training uh, leaders for the PNGDF, junior leaders, so this gives them the opportunity uh, to exercise command and control and be assessed on command and control. The reopening of the Joint Forces Academy in 2016 was in line to build the capacity of the Defence Force and to jointly train security personnel from the Defence, Correctional Service and Police. Last year, the Parliament passed the Joint Forces College Bill that would enable the Academy to be recognised as a tertiary institution. In an interview with the PNGDF Commander Major General Gilbert Toropo in September, he highlighted the importance of this institution and also confirmed that the Academy is yet to receive its funding. In the Defence Force is continuing to support within our own budget, but uh, we would like to see direct funding from the government so that now we can expand the opportunity for you know, other courses to be run, uh, not only for the three disciplinary forces, but you know, for other uh, uh, Papua New Guineans now. Despite these challenges, the Joint Forces Academy continues to facilitate trainings for cadets with the support from other units at the Egan Barracks, the Correctional Service and the Australian Defence Force through the Defence Force Corporation program. After completing exercise first run, the junior class now waits to undergo the next exercise in the coming weeks. Thank stakeholders for uh, giving us uh, the opportunity to use this area, MVP oil. Uh, and Ramu Agri Limited, and also uh, I'd like to acknowledge the staff who uh, participate and supported uh, the conduct of this exercise. Lucy Kopana, National MTV News, Lay.